hey y'all what's up welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kyrielle, and today is another story time clearly i like telling y'all my business so if you like to be all in people business i'm the person to subscribe to for real because i don't know what it is but lately i just been telling all my business this story took place a long time ago i was like 14 and i fell in love with this man this guy was technically my first love but not really because i was 14 what you don't know nothing about love at 14. y'all i met this man in 2009 let's call him clown that's gonna be his name me and clown met through a mutual friend she put us on three-way y'all know how it used to be back in the day everybody was on three-way four-way five-way <laughs> and i was a little girl so i didn't really go anywhere so for a couple of months, all we did was talk on the phone and text. Remember, I was 14 and he was already in like the 10th grade. I don't know what made me fall in love with him. Maybe just because he was older. I don't know. Older men know how to talk to younger girls to make them feel a certain way. So I feel like he probably just ran game on me for real. I will never forget the day I found out he was in a whole nother relationship. For some reason, he never had me on social media. And after I found this out, he actually blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> He blocked me on Facebook, but I was like, I used to type in his name all the time and just stalk this man for real. So I went on Facebook, I typed in his name. It showed that he was in a relationship with this girl. Let's call the girl. His name is Clown. We're going to call her Brown. She's pretty though. She's like a pretty brown skinned girl too. So anyways, Brown and Clown had been in a relationship since 2007. I never forget the day I found out y'all. I went on Facebook typed in his name i saw that he was married literally in a relationship to this girl he wasn't married for real but like that was his you know when people do relationship status on facebook girl it said married child so he was married to brown and they had this picture and on the picture it said from 2007 to whatever current date it was and i'm like 2007 y'all remember when people used to write on their pictures ew that's cringy but in my mind we had already been in a relationship for a year i brought it to his attention this man blew it off like men know how to make you seem like you the problem i'm like you've been in a relationship this whole time he was like no i'm not in no relationship mind you he blocked me after that but he was like i'm not in no relationship she just posted that and it's not like that's not what it is so I'm like, okay, whatever. I believed him for a long time. I believed him, y'all. He just filled my head up with a whole bunch of lies. And he really had me thinking that this girl really is delusional and he's not with her. He was like, that's my ex. We not together. Come to find out, y'all. They was at the same school. I didn't even know this. Like, y'all, I'm 14. To me, it started to seem like all this man wanted was my virginity for real. One day we was chilling and I forgot where we were. He damn near forced himself on top of me, but he didn't do anything. He just was like on top of me and he kept saying, please, like, please just let me take it, just let me take it. I'm like, nah, I'm not ready. Like, I'm not ready. After I kept telling him I wasn't ready, he was like, all right, I'm about to just go then. Y'all, my feelings was so hurt, but I was so in love with him. Like, I didn't even care that that happened. And I continued to talk to him. We went on to talk for at least four more years without doing anything like we didn't even kiss when we saw each other for real he never made me his girlfriend like that's crazy now that i think about it like how i was really in love with someone who didn't even girl anyways okay so but i did get to the point where i started to talk to other people and talk to him at the same time back in the day you remember when we used to have signatures on our phone i remember i was talking to this guy and i had his name as my signature and clown literally cussed me out and he kept saying he would say, if you don't take that off your signature, I'm gonna stop talking to you. My dumb ass will always forget that his name is still on my signature. And so Clown stopped talking to me for a while because of that. But you got a whole, you got a whole girlfriend though. I think we were talking for like four years before his girlfriend actually reached out to me. She texted me from his phone and she was like, who is this? Girl, like, is my number not saved or something? <laughs> I'm talking to this man for four years. Was my number not saved? What do you mean, who is this? Let me find out that man didn't save my number. Anyways, girl. So she takes my phone. She's like, who is this? I'm like, it's this, I'm Kyria, boo. What, who are you? She was like, I'm his, I'm his girlfriend. I've been his girlfriend for such and such years, girl. At that time, 2007 plus four years, that it was like 2011. Y'all, me and this girl is going back and forth, back and forth. And that was the beginning of a long ass three triangle relationship because i didn't go nowhere and she didn't go nowhere 
And I remember I used to always talk to my friend. I used to be like, girl, I didn't break up no happy home. Because I'm not the type of girl to break up a happy home and be proud of it. That was never the case. Like, it just was, he kept coming back to me. So, and I liked him. And I didn't know about her in the beginning. Me and her always went back and forth, y'all. We started to follow each other on social media. Like, not follow each other, but we started to watch each other's social media just to see what, who's with him at the time. Ghetto. I used to be at his house. And I used to like do stuff to show that I'm at his house, take pictures in the mirror or record something. And I would post it on my story or post it on my Instagram because I know she was following me. And she used to do the same thing. So one day I was at his house and I left. She recorded herself driving. Next thing you know, she at his house right after I left. The day that I saw her going to his house, she actually was mad because she knew that I had just left. So when she got to his house, she takes my phone well, maybe she was trying to get there quick because she thought I was still there. But no, boo, he had done took me home. Anyways, was he having sex? I wanted to... Because at that point, I forgot to mention, we started to have sex. And I'm trying to figure out, did he have sex with both of us in the same day? That's disgusting. So that day that she saw me at his house and then she rushed to his house. I guess she thought I was still going to be there, but he had not already took me home. So she takes my phone and she was like, the next time I see you, I'm going to slap you. Rah, 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 rah. A whole month goes by. I go to the DMV with my friend. So my homegirl was like, that go brown and clown. We was done doing what we had to do in the DMV, but I purposely, I purposely stood where I was standing at so that Brown could see me. And Brown was standing close to the door. So I walked towards the door real slow. Brown didn't do nothing. So I said, you know what? Okay, whatever, girl. This ain't worth it. This ain't what it is. And clown didn't even look my way. But anyways. We leave the DMV. I wasn't trying to be on no ghetto stuff anyway. It's just, she said she was going to slap me. So I was just running. You know what I mean? So one day Brown hit me up and she was like, um, was Clown with you this weekend? He lied and told this girl he was at the All-Star game. But really, I was at his house for the weekend. At this point, I'm grown, y'all. I'm grown. We having sex. I'm grown. We still not in a relationship. I'm still not his girlfriend. He never made me his girlfriend. But in my mind, I'm your girl. I'm your world. Like... The way I was in love with this man was insane. I remember sneaking out to see this man every day, y'all. I started to sneak out to see this man. And he wasn't even worth it for real. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So she was like, was he was he with you this weekend? I said, yep, he sure was. And I sent proof because I come with receipts every time, baby. You're not going to call me delusional. That's really what happened. So I sent her all those screenshots of him saying, come over. Just It just showed her everything about us planning that weekend. She got so mad. I guess she cussed him out or whatever. He, he was blowing my phone up, but I was over it. I just got tired of beefing with this girl. And I got tired of this man lying. Like, boy, you ain't even all that for real. I sent her the screenshots. I sent her everything. And it proved to her that I was with him all weekend. Why Monday come? I'm thinking they broken up. These people go to SeaWorld. They go to SeaWorld and she posts pictures on Instagram. I got so hot. I got so heated. I'm like, you know what? I'm through with this man. It's over with. Was I through? Mm -mm. We stopped talking. We had stopped talking for a couple months. And then we got back cool. Y'all, I thought this man had got me pregnant. So I'm telling him, I'm like, I need money for an abortion, blah, blah, blah. He thinking I'm lying. I'm like, no, for real. Like my cycle had not came. He was like, you're not pregnant. I know what a woman, this man said, I know if a woman is pregnant because my girl is pregnant. I got over that man in 2014. We started dating in 20, 2009. I don't know why I keep saying dating. We, we didn't date, but yeah. We stopped talking for years. And then out of nowhere, he hits me up. How do, I don't know how my exes be finding my number for real. Cause I used to change my number every day. <laughs> But I don't know. Maybe he hit me up somewhere and asked me for it. I don't know. But y'all, I was doing so good. I was dating other people. I was not thinking about this man. I did not care. Two years go by. Three years go by. I'm talking to new people. I'm talking to new people. I'm literally vibing. He hits me up three, three years later, right? I'm thinking he trying to like talk to me again or something. But at that point, I was just so over him. And I was so like done with him. I didn't care about nothing he had to say for real but anyways he hits me up right he's like i want to see you girl he pulls up in a nice ass white camaro when he pulled up he asked me for a hug and i'm looking at him crazy because you already know what time it is like 
you know I don't act with you, so let's not do that. So when he asked me for a hug and I was like, mm-mm, he laughed and then like I got into the car. Y'all, this man takes me to get something to eat. He's just asking me how I'm doing, how is life treating me. And it was kind of weird to me because, okay, I, I guess it wasn't that weird, but it's just like he gave me a whole different vibe than he usually gave give me. I go into the house, right? Me and him are texting. He texts me, y'all, and he says, I got to talk to you about something. So I'm like, what's up? Like, what's up? He said, me and Brown, me and Brown want to have a threesome with you. I'm like, what? Who? I know you ain't talking about the same Brown that wanted to beat me up. The same Brown we've been sharing. I mean, I guess it made sense that we have been sharing the same nigga for over a decade, but a threesome is crazy. I had her on Snapchat at the time. So I go and I write her on Snapchat. I'm like, you really want to have a threesome with me? She was like, yeah. I'm like, well, these people are bold. Like, what? I said, uh-uh. You serious? Like, you dead serious? She said, yeah, like, I really want to do it. Like, you're so cute. I'm the same cute girl you wanted to beat up. I'm confused. She was like, you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do. You could just lay there. Me and Clown could do stuff to you. I said... When y'all trying to do this, let's try it. I was single. That's your man. That's not my man. So let's try this. We set a date. We set a time. We meet up. Boom. I had to get drunk. I had to get drunk to do this because no, no. <laughs> we all drinking, right? We start off by playing this drinking game. And it literally got everybody drunk for real. I think it was like seven up. Heads up seven up. Something like that. Rango fire. I think it was Rango fire. If you ever tried that drink, if you ever did that drinking game, you already know you're gonna get drunk. We in the kitchen, we in the kitchen vibing out. Clown says, come on, y'all, let's make it to the room. We couldn't even make it to the room. She was already like trying to, she was already trying to like get me out my clothes where we was in the kitchen. I don't even want to get into detail for real. This is weird. But <laughs> this is weird. Like we was just beefing, but Shorty been digging me for a long time. We get to the room. She wastes no time. She's trying to, she's trying to eat, eat your girl up, right? So Clown was like, move over, let me, like, move over, let me, blah, blah, blah. So she catches an attitude and she's like, oh my gosh, like, this really wasn't, you really wasn't supposed to be here for real, like, <laughs> and they start to get into it because, what? I'm sitting there confused, like, what you mean he wasn't supposed to be here? I thought it was supposed to be a threesome, but okay. I'm literally just laying there while they're arguing back and forth. I felt like she was just jealous a little bit. But all he was trying to do was eat the box. I mean, you're eating the box. You hogging it up. He want to eat them too. He starts to eat the box. And I don't know what she was doing. I don't know what she was doing. I don't even know what he was doing while she was eating the box. But anyways, they switch positions. And she, now he's eating the box. And I'm just laying there. Just like she said I would do. She said, just lay there. We'll do. We'll do everything. I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. He literally was eating the box for two minutes. And she said, all right, okay, that's enough. Get up. Like, that's enough. Like, you're doing so much. I'm like, girl, he was doing it better than you. So, but, okay. He gets up, y'all. And I hear him, I hear him opening up, like, some, a condom or whatever. So, he's putting it on. And she was like, what are you putting that on for? First of all, you're killing the mood because you keep starting arguments. He was like, I'm about to, like, what you mean? I got to work on she was like, no, you're only going to have sex with me. You're not going to have sex with her. Blah, blah, blah. So he was like, man, you're tripping, like, whatever. So he attempts to get on top of me anyways. So she pushes him. She's like, I just said you're not going to do anything. Where? I'm going to do everything you could watch. Wait, when did this turn into a girl on girl and he's going to... Baby, I prefer clown. What do you mean? I prefer clown. She pushes him down. Well, not push him down, but like push him off of me. I'm already starting to feel like I can't do this. All right, well, mama is true. But then, like, nobody got time for this jealousy stuff. Like, it was your idea. This whole thing was your idea. What you doing? So, she proceeds to put on a strap on. And she thought she was going to do something with that. I said, no, ma'am. I do not play with those. I don't, I don't, I don't, I like the real thing. You know what I mean? So, she was like, no, um. Come on, I just want to try it. I just want to try it. I said, no, I don't want to try that. We're not doing that, boo. We're not doing that. You could just let him do his job. He already got one. He ain't got to put one on. He already got one. Let him do what he going to do. She was like, what y'all thought this was going to be? 
what y'all thought this was going to be i said you know what clown eat her box because she's tricky so he goes and starts to eat her box why am i directing this i don't know but these people were tripping and they didn't have nothing organized and i was kind of turned off from all the arguing because she also was mad that he was even touching me y'all i'm like girl first of all i'm drunk right now i just want to get it on you're in my way you're bothering me like go away you could really leave out the room and we could just me and him when she when he was eating her box she was like oh my god oh my god i gotta go to the bathroom she went to the bathroom y'all i kid you not as soon as she leaves and go into that bathroom this man gets on top of me he gets on top of me why did he do this i don't know y'all he gets on top of me we going at it let me let me stop that's too much this girl couldn't even flush the toilet she runs out the bathroom as soon as she hear like clapping she runs out the bathroom started Boop, 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 boop. two piece in this man in his head i'm like oh my god y'all i got up i called my sister to come pick me up and i left i was over with what how you plan it but you don't want to do it but that was the end of my story time um the next time i talked to him after that was actually probably like two years ago or something like that i don't know but he was trying to hit me up and pay my bills I'm like, boy, I'm so over you. Like, please. This was just too much. That whole thing was just so ghetto. Like, I'm so over it. But that was my story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was crazy and ghetto. But subscribe to my channel if you love story times. I am so tired, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep. But I will see y'all in my next video. And thank you so, so much for all the love. I love y'all so much. I'm going to be back with another story time very soon. So, bye, y'all. I'm out. Peace.